morning, SHC. Happy Tuesday, and welcome to our 20th episode. I'm Mia Franceschi, and this is SHC Live. Now for our top stories. In athletics news, the California Department of Public Health released updated guidelines for youth sports this past Friday, notably that outdoor sports may be allowed to play in the purple tier, provided teams meet specific requirements, such as weekly COVID testing and informed consent. San Francisco Department of Public Health has to weigh in on the state guidelines in order for these new guidelines to be permitted in the city and county of San Francisco. We'll know more this week. While the news is promising for outdoor sports, the state also moved volleyball into the most restrictive tier, the yellow tier, possibly dealing a knockout blow for boys volleyball, which is likely to have its second consecutive spring season canceled due to the pandemic. Next, our resident meteorologist, sophomore Clea Gotland. Hi, SHC, this is Kalia Gotland back with your weekly weather report. The average temperature this week is going to be 61 degrees. It'll be partly cloudy on Tuesday and Thursday. I recommend that you wear a jacket. And now back to Mia with the rest of the news. Thanks, Kalia. With a super special walkathon announcement, here's Miss Hip. Hey, SHC Live, my name is Miss Hip and I'm here to talk about, you guessed it, the walkathon. Woohoo! The walkathon is our only student-led fundraiser. And normally it's in the fall and ends with a big community walk around Golden Gate Park. Obviously, we couldn't do that this year, so we had to reframe it, and it's going to actually be our first ever virtual walkathon. Super exciting. We're still going to have prizes, early bird, all that fun stuff. I'm going to be sending you guys a lot of information in the coming weeks. If you want to get started, I highly suggest that you create your online fundraising page. That's going to allow you to share on social media, email, through text with all your old coaches, aunts, uncles, grandparents, all those great people. Everyone this year has a goal of $200. And we know that this year has been incredibly difficult and challenging for many of our community members. If you're having a hard time reaching your goal, please contact me. I have funds to hand out and I wanna make sure you all reach your goal this year. There's gonna be more info to come and in the mail, you guys are gonna receive something that looks like this. If you guys have any questions on it, you can email me. I'm very excited about this. I hope you are too. That's all for now. Go make your online fundraising page and let's get started. For SHC Live, my name's Miss Hip. Go Irish and woohoo! Thank you, Miss Hip. Now, with her own announcement, Zia Mara Larkin. Interested in giving a TED Talk? Are you passionate about an idea that you feel needs to be shared with the world? TEDx Youth at SHC is currently looking for a few more students who are eager to share an impactful message with their community. If you have an idea in mind and are interested in giving a TEDx talk, then email TEDx at shcp.edu or Ms. Lorenz at klorenz at shcp.edu. Thank you and go Irish. Thanks, Yamara. This week's Lasalle and Vincentian Words of Wisdom brought to you by freshman girls basketball coach and English teacher, Mr. Knapp. Hey, SHC, it's Mr. Knapp. Uh, I was asked to provide some words of wisdom for you today. And I would say that I've been focusing on two things to maintain a positive mental outlook. And that is definitely getting outside as much as possible. I'm a big fan of hiking or biking if you like solo activities. But the outdoors is also a great way to socially distance with friends. Get to spend a lot of time with my wife and my dog on our walks. Uh, I think it's just really great for your mental health. I would encourage all of you to get outside and stay active uh, as much as you can. And the second is to look forward to the future. Uh, vaccines are coming out. Uh, school's been, been trickling back into session. And uh, I really can't wait till we can get together to get, again as a community. Um, so yeah, my two words of wisdom would be get outside and maintain a positive outlook towards our future together. All right, that's all for now. Adios. Thank you, Coach Knapp. Now, here's Yamara back again with the latest on Black History Month. Hi guys, welcome to the last week of Black History Month. Over the weekend, I had the privilege to interview Mrs. Russell, Mr. Russell's sister, an alumni from SHC, to ask her what her experience was going to SHCP as an African American female and what Black History Month means to her. Check this out. How was your experience being an African American woman going to SHCP? Woo! Yeah. You all have a lot more students of color than they had when I was attending. I believe in my graduating class, there was about two and a half black girls and probably less than six or seven black boys. So total like less than 10 African-American kids at the time. It was, it was something I was used to being like one of the only African-American students in your class. Um, and I was okay with that. It just, 
wasn't a super comfortable place to be all the time or truly bring your whole self to school. And don't get me wrong, I had great friends of many different backgrounds and ethnicities, and I was grateful to learn from them, but there is something about having, um, you know, those mirror experiences where you have people that look like you and talk like you and come from your same neighborhood. I didn't even have any African-American teachers, I don't believe either. Um, this week's theme is, drum roll, Current and future excellence, we are celebrating black world changers who are making an impact today in this world. As you know, Monday we celebrate black women, Tuesday we celebrate black men, Wednesday we celebrate black youth, Thursday we celebrate LGBTQ and mixed, and Friday we celebrate international African Americans who have helped shape our world. Check out our movie on Friday and our lunchtime games. Also, keep your eyes open for our scavenger hunt happening this weekend. Finally, follow us on social media at SHC underscore BSU and in honor of Black Excellence, happy Black History Month. Thanks, Yamara. Go give the BSU a follow. Next up, our weekly Emerald bit from Atessa Anoshirvani. KSHC, I'm Tessa Anoshirvani, current events editor for the Emerald. Amanda Gorman's poem for the presidential inauguration on January 20th made her an immediate sensation. The Hill We Climb held millions captive as a 22-year-old recited verses imbued with wisdom, hope, and a call to action. SHC students were certainly captivated by her as well and have opinions on why she's gotten so popular. Aside from being an excellent poet, sophomore Reese Chu thinks that Gorman offers a new perspective. Senior Kyla Lopez adds that she's someone the youth can relate to in politics. More than anything, Amanda Gorman's inaugural poem offers hope for the new administration from her diverse background to her powerful words. You can learn more about Gorman's childhood speech impediment, the inspiration for the hill we climb, and SHC's take on her words in my article. For the Emerald, I'm Tessa Anushiravani. Thanks, Tessa. Make sure to check out the Emerald at shcpemerald.org. Since the start of quarantine almost a year ago, many people have found comfort in adopting pets into their families. Here are sophomores Caitlin Jew and Alyssa Ved talking about theirs. Hi, this is Caitlin, and this is my dog Katsu. He is a Shiba Inu, and he is four years old. We have spent a lot of time together over quarantine, and he makes me happy. Hi, I'm Alyssa, and this is Chloe Fong's dog, Ollie. He's five years old, and he's turning six next month. He's a French bulldog, and he's been sleeping a lot lately and playing with his toys. He goes on a lot of walks and loves to hang out with Chloe. Chloe calls him Chuckles. And for SHC Live, I'm Alyssa Ved. And I'm Kaylin Ju. Thanks, Caitlin and Alyssa. Do you want us to feature your pet? Send us a video at shclive at shcp.edu, and you may see your pet in an upcoming show. That's all for week 20. To leave you, here's some footage of the moving of this historic Victorian house cruising through the streets of San Francisco at a whopping one mile per hour. I'm Mia Franceschi, and I'll see you next week. Stay safe, and remember your moose antlers. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. <laughs>